Global warming is making hurricanes more intense. According to the Associated Press, who spoke with 17 meteorologists and researchers who study climate change, hurricanes, or both, global warming is affecting hurricanes by making them wetter with more energy that intensify faster. Storm surges are also more dangerous because of rising sea levels, with storms moving more slowly, thus increased levels of precipitation and flooding. The dean of the Environment School at the University of Michigan, Jonathan Overpeck, says, Florence is yet another poster child for the human supercharged storms that are becoming more common and destructive as the planet warms. Several months after Hurricane Harvey, studies found climate change significantly increased the chances for Harvey's record rainfalls. Scientists say that for every degree the air warms, it can hold almost 4% more water and feeds more energy into the storm. Climate scientists say the warmer air and water make storms stronger. Recent studies have also shown storms intensifying more rapidly than before. Keep watching. Erupting volcano forces island-wide evacuation. Residents are being evacuated after a volcano on one of Vanuatu's northern islands began to erupt. The Monaro volcano in Ambe is a shield volcano whose summit features three crater lakes. The volcano began releasing ash and toxic gas in September and is now spewing rocks and lava amid repeated explosions. Many of the island's water sources are polluted by the eruption, leaving thousands without access to safe drinking water. Islanders are being ferried off the island by an assortment of ships and boats. Others have flown out to safety as the Vanuatu government wants all 11,000 residents evacuated by October 6. The Monaro eruption poses a serious threat, especially with the possibility of deadly volcanic mud called lahar overflowing down the mountain. The volcano last erupted in 2005. Half of the island's population was evacuated and couldn't return until at least three months later. Bali's Mount Agung is ready to go bang. This is Bali's scenic Mount Agung volcano. It's been quiet for five decades, but experts are warning it's now ready to blow. Indonesian officials have marked several danger zones for a potential Mount Agung eruption and have evacuated over 75,000 people in the past days. According to The Guardian, hundreds of tremors have been noted near the volcano each day. If this trend continues, experts expect an eruption is imminent. The most deadly threat resulting from it would be pyroclastic flows, which is a superheated killer gas that lays waste to everything in its path and can travel up to 450 miles per hour. Check back with Tomo News for more on this developing story in the coming days. Volcano Rising Scientists have located the magma source of an Italian supervolcano that's considered one of the most dangerous in the world. Campi Flegre is a volcanic caldera to the west of Naples, which last erupted in 1538, but was responsible for a series of small earthquakes in the 1980s. Researchers who have long puzzled about where the caldera's magma is coming from have now pinpointed the location of a hot zone about four kilometers under the nearby city of Pozzoli. From 1982 and 1984, rising gas and magma caused the ground in the crater to swell, but was prevented from rising to the surface by a deep rock formation. The magma instead spread out laterally, causing minor earthquakes. The caldera has grown hotter since, and with pressure building, scientists fear it could soon erupt and put the entire region at risk. Volcanologists cannot say for sure what the scale of any future eruption could be, but are closely monitoring Campi Flegri. Volcano Villarica in southern Chile erupted on Tuesday morning. Chilean officials issued a red alert on Monday and thousands of people were evacuated from the area prior to the explosion. Volcano Villarica is one of the most active volcanoes in South America. A stratovolcano, Villarica was formed by many layers of hardened lava and volcanic ash. Villarica also has a crater at the brim, created when the volcano's magma chamber was emptied after a previous large eruption. As with most stratovolcanoes, Villarica is capable of erupting with great force because gases dissolved in the magma increase pressure within the volcano. The gas is released at the top along with the magma. Prior to the eruption, 3,385 people were evacuated from two nearby towns as a precaution after Chilean officials noticed activity in Villarica's crater this past week. Villarica erupted on Tuesday morning at around 3 a.m. local time, spewing lava and ash 1,000 meters into the air. Volcanic ash from the explosion is expected to cover considerable distances and travel to parts of neighboring Argentina. 
The Four Main Types of Volcanoes A volcano is an opening in the Earth's surface where molten rock can escape. The Earth's crust is made up of tectonic plates that shift and move. Volcanoes are often located at the fault lines between these plates. Cinder cone volcanoes occur when lava is ejected from a volcanic vent. Lava is shot into the air and pieces accumulate around the vent. This creates a circular or oval-shaped cone with a bowl-shaped crater at the top. Composite volcanoes contain a conduit system that channels magma to the surface. These volcanoes can have clusters of vents along the sides of the mountain where lava flows out. Shield volcanoes are large, broad volcanoes where lava pours out in thin layers, allowing it to travel farther down the shallow slopes. They build up slowly, with hundreds of eruptions creating many layers. Lava domes are created when small masses of thick lava can't flow far from the source, so domes pile up around the vent. The dome grows by expansion of lava from within, and the mountain forms from material spilling off the sides of the dome. Hawaii's volcano is spitting up toxic gas and glass into the air. Things are heating up over Hawaii, but not necessarily in a good way. People in Hawaii are being warned of white plumes of toxic air and extremely fine glass particles as lava continues to pour out from the Kilauea volcano. Officials say two lava flows have reached the Pacific, creating thick steam clouds known as lays. Lays clouds are laced with hydrochloric acid and fine glass shards that can irritate skin and eyes and affect breathing. The Lays cloud from the plume spread as far as 15 miles west of the location the lava entered the Pacific on the Big Island's southern coast. The Coast Guard is currently enforcing a 984-foot safety zone around the ocean point of entry. Kilauea has burned down 40 structures, including 25 homes since it began erupting on May 3rd. Around 2,000 people have had to evacuate their homes.